We will now be looking at the formation of the rainbow, how the rainbow forms uh, and how rainbow formation takes place. So basically, it, you know, uh, this is a very basic uh, knowledge that rainbow forms immediately after rain and that happens when there is bright sunshine just after rain. So just after rain, if we have bright sunshine, we can see a rainbow. But how does a rainbow finally, you know, how does it form? And you know that rainbow colors are again from uh, bottom to top with your right so how does a rainbow form now basically after rain there are suspended droplets of water in the atmosphere right in the atmosphere you will see suspended droplets of water these water droplets act as prisms okay they're going to act as prisms and that's how we get our rainbow so let's see how basically all the suspended droplets of water in the atmosphere just after rain when bright sunshine comes out the sunlight is going to enter into the raindrop or into the water droplet and when it strikes the surface of the water droplet here at this point the droplet is going to act as a glass prism and the white light that is the sunlight is going to scatter It is going to scatter. I am only considering two colors here. So that is easy for you to understand. Two colors I am considering. It will be a band of seven colors. So it is going to undergo dispersion. The first thing which will happen is dispersion. The first thing when it enters it is going to disperse. Right. After dispersion at the back of the raindrop. Now see this is the back part of the raindrop right. So it will go and strike the back of the raindrop or the water droplet and here it is going to undergo total internal reflection. Okay, total internal reflection. It is going to reflect completely. Okay, it is going to completely reflect back. So it will reflect back like this. Okay, and this too will reflect back. So it is going to reflect back completely. Okay. All the colors, all the monochromatic beams of light are going to reflect back completely. Okay. Now they're going to strike the, uh, again, the surface of the water droplet. Here they are going to undergo refraction. So third step is going to be refraction. And here when they undergo refraction, they are going to finally bend. And finally, many such colors will come out. And many such droplets, many such droplets are going to, and these are going to be the colors. Okay. So this is step one, this is step two, and this is step three. And many droplets of water, many droplets are going to act as glass prisms. Many such droplets are going to act as glass prisms and together many many such spectrums are going to come together and they form the big rainbow that we see opposite to the sun. Right. So that is how rainbow formation takes place. A very very important concept from examination point of view and from a general knowledge point of view as well. So thank you very much. This is how the rainbow is formed.